it's not an advisable strategy. So well, I found that really, really interesting because in the book you say that actually if you feminize men, that might give them more of a, you know might have a more of an allure towards you know these very fascist ideologies. Oh, there's ideologies. no doubt about that. That's that's standard psychoanalytic. That's like psychoanalysis 101. If you repress something, it comes back with a vengeance. Okay, so tell me what you mean by feminizing in that sense. Because to me, if you don't mind me saying so, um, you are a man who is uh, quite feminine. You're in touch with your feminine side. You are very well dressed. You talk a lot about your diet. You've talked about your emotions. Oh, I you, hate talking about my diet. Right, but you, you cry in public. Mm -hmm. you, um, you enjoy spending time with your kids. You know, all of these things that are not no, stereotypical. sad, isn't it? But they're not stereotypically male, and I think hmm. that's very admirable. Pretty strange behavior for a patriarchal tyrant. Well, that's why I think that you're probably, in some ways, you're not a patriarchal tyrant, or that actually all of our programming, if you want to call it that in biology, is, is, is overcomable, because you are... It's integratable. Right, but you are a man who some people would say has a lot of feminine traits like that, and I don't... Mm.